What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna start getting the motor ready to pretty much go inside the hatch. I'm gonna put the clutch on, the intake manifold, the turbo manifold. So we're gonna start dressing the engine up just to get it ready to go. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, tap that notification button, that way you know when a new video is on its way. guys so i got my motor on this veins engine stand if you guys are interested in getting one veinstands.com this is going to make my life so much easier to put everything on as far as the clutch goes turbo manifold intake manifold all i got to do is wheel it outside real quick and then we can get started on everything all right guys so i got everything laid down that's my skunk 2 throttle body 70 mil i got a skunk 2 pro series intake manifold here's the gasket Here's my stage five competition clutch. That's the pressure plate. Got a four puck ceramic clutch. And also here's the 1320 top mount turbo manifold. So I'm gonna just give you guys quick specs on everything just so you guys have it. I'm just gonna use my impact gun and just put everything on. I've always done it that way, never had an issue. But this is just mainly for you guys. So the throttle body, you gotta torque those down to 16 foot pounds the intake manifold is 18 foot pounds then we got the pressure plate right here which is 19 foot pounds the flywheel is 76 foot pounds that's something you guys are gonna have to tighten down a lot more and then for the turbo manifold for this guy is 23 foot pounds so the manifolds don't got to be tightened too much but I just wanted to give you guys those torque specs real quick just so you guys have it. I'll leave it in the description. But I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse and we'll get this all started. So this is how we looking. Here's the competition clutch put on nicely. Skunk to intake manifold, 1320 top mount turbo manifold. Now everything is not tightened down all the way. You see there's a few nuts missing, but that's because it's starting to drizzle and I don't want to work outside in the rain. It's been raining a lot lately, but this is where we are guys. So we're almost done. Soon we'll have this bad boy running 
and stay tuned for more. And as always, keep on watching.